Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics Fire Academy YouTube channel. Dynamics Fire Academy brings you video course on Dynamics Fire, Power Platform, Azure, and Microsoft Office Fire. So in this video, I'll talk about how we can just configure additional languages in Dynamics Fire Customer Engagement. So Dynamics Fire Customer Engagement is a multilingual system. What it means is you can configure multiple languages depends upon where you are accessing the system. So when you are procuring the Dynamics CRM system or when you are just installing it on the on-premise server, you have to configure one language. That language is going to be your default language. As a system admin, you can configure more languages so that the individual users who are accessing the system from different geographies can access and configure these languages. So you can configure any languages that is available uh, at the moment. So I'll just share my screen and show you how we can configure additional languages within Dynamics by Customer Engagement. So in order to configure an additional language in Dynamics by CE application, we have to navigate to settings, administration settings, and then languages. So I've just already navigated to settings, administration, and then languages over here. So this area is available only for the system admin and system customers. Is. So once you just click on the language area, you'll be able to see a lot of languages are available over here, starting from Arabic to Basque, Bulgarian, Chinese, and etc. So as I already mentioned, Dynamics by Customer Engagement is a multilingual system. When you're procuring the system for the very first time, that point in time, you will configure a language. It can be English or it can be any language of your choice. So that will be your default language. That you cannot change. What you can do as a system admin is you can configure additional languages, multiple languages, and your users can configure any of these languages for them, for the UI and help and etc. So as an admin, this is the place where you can configure the languages. You come here, select one or two languages, and then you click apply. So it will show you a message saying that you have selected two languages to change. Okay, that's fine. This operation will either enable or disable the selected languages for your organization. Okay, each language can take several minutes. I, as, as per experience, I can say it takes up to 15 minutes for a language. Sometimes even fail after that. So once you click OK, what is happening doing is it will basically download this language packages and it will install that on your machine. That is not going to change the language for any users. And the system admin also cannot change the language for the entire users also. That's the interesting part. What, this, what the system admin can do is he can then download and install this language package just by clicking apply here after selecting the language, that's it. Then the admin can inform the users just to select the language as per their, uh, their interest. I'll tell you how we can do it. So we select the language, click apply. It will take some good amount of time and till the point you don't be able to see the application at all. So I'm not going to do it now. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, consider we have configured these languages. Then we have to tell the users just to go to their personal options. Imagine we have configured Arabic as an additional language in my CRM application. So then we'll go to personalization settings. There, the last tab, we have languages. So there we have three options. This is the base language, which you cannot change, is English. And then we have user interface language, which is English. Of course, that's a default language, help language also. So I tried to install one or two languages, but I couldn't do. I have done it in the past multiple times. So oh, I mean, uh, for the user interface language and help language, once you configure the language in the last step I have shown you over here, for example, if I configure Arabic over here and Chinese, those two will appear here for user interface language and help language. So as a user, you can select that, click OK. What will happen is your entire user interface, including these labels and everything, except the data will change to that particular language. But you have to be very careful if you change to any language which you cannot read, then it will be very difficult to come back to this location. So that's how you configure it. So as a system admin, you will install the language packages, then you inform the individual user. Individual users will go here to your personalization settings, and then they can configure languages from the language tab by selecting a separate language for user interface language and help language. So in this video, I explain about how we can configure additional languages in Dynamics by customer engagement. I believe this video is useful. Now, if you have any questions or comments, you can mention that in the comment box. We'll also like to hear your suggestion to make more videos uh, from our channel. To get more videos of similar type, you can subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.